What is going on guys? It is Jossel2000. Um, today I'm going to prove how and why Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom Brady. I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me, a lot of my friends, but I have to get this across because it's true and you all know it is. Now, to start it off, Rodgers is the NFL all-time leader for pass rating at 104.1. I'm going to try to go through you know these facts as quick as I can because I do not have a lot of time on my camera. You know, this is like my third or fourth time trying to make this video. I'll try to make my comments in between, but I'm trying to go through this as quick as I can to prove to you guys how he's better. He got his first 100-point passer rating in 2009 in his second year as a starter, and Brady got his in 2007 as his seventh year as a starter. So Rodgers is already making more of an impact than Tom Brady did. So that's cool. All besides, you know, Brady's Super Bowls that he won, but we'll get to that later. Brady um, also has a passer rating of 97.2, and like I said, Rodgers is 104.1, so he's also better in passer rating category. He's never beaten Rodgers one-on-one. Rodgers has one victory over him. The only time they've ever played in Green Bay, I think, in 2014. So, yeah, that's that. Rodgers um, has over 2,500 rushing yards since 2009 all the way to 2016. And Brady has only had 94, um, 940. And Rodgers, you know, has amazing speed a lot faster than um, Brady. And since both being started at the same time in 2009, Rodgers has had 268 touchdowns. To Brady's 257, you know, from 2009 to 2016. You can't compare 2008 because Brady was injured at the time. But when they were both starters in 2009, Rodgers has more touchdowns. Yes, Brady has five rings, but you cannot compare the three that he won before Aaron Rodgers if you're comparing uh, Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady because, you know, he wasn't even in the league at the time. And um, since starting and all the way through to 2016, Rodgers has a touchdown to interception ratio of 4.1 to Brady's 3.0. So that's another category he's better in. Rodgers' uh, interception percentage is 1.4 to Brady's 1.8. And Brady has also fumbled the ball 107 times and Rodgers has 70 times since 2009 to now. And Brady was bailed out by the tuck rule and two interceptions um, in the Super Bowl against the Seahawks, you know, in the uh, Super Bowl. And uh, the tuck rule, you know, was before in the playoffs and stuff like that. But he was bailed out those times for um, Super Bowls and then the playoff win. And um, Rodgers is more, you know, turnover free in the playoffs. He doesn't throw a crap load of interceptions. But um, Brady has also, you know, thrown an interception in the Super Bowl against the Falcons for a pick six. You know, he, I guess, likes to throw interceptions in the playoffs, you know, when it comes to games. And Rodgers knows how to control the ball ten times more than Brady does. You know, he falls under pressure easily, and he throws interceptions in the playoffs. And uh, like I said, he got bailed out before by those two things. He also got bailed out by Malcolm Butler. You know, like I said, he got bailed out in the Seahawks Super Bowl. And uh, Vinatieri also bailed him out of a couple Super Bowls, so that's another thing. And you can't say Rodgers is bad and never makes it to the Super Bowl if the defense is at fault. Rodgers has had a mediocre defense, you know, for the longest time. After his Super Bowl run, he has had mediocre defenses every single year. And Brady has had all-star defenses, all-star offenses. So, and Aaron Rodgers has still performed amazingly. He's carried these teams to the playoffs, which I just think, you know, is amazing. Um, in 2009, Rodgers lost to the Cardinals by putting up 45 points in his defense, allowing 51. 51. That's insane. And Rodgers still up, put up 45 points. You know, he was fighting and fighting, but his defense let him down. And, you know, he lost 51 to 45. He also put up 30 once against the San Francisco 49ers. Um, the lead defense in the playoffs in 2012, keep in mind. But his defense allowed 45. You can score 31 against the, against the best defense in the league. I think you're pretty amazing. You know, that's that's awesome. Um, he also, a defense also costed him, and especially he costed him the NFC Championship game back in 2014. So that's also another costly thing the defense has done. You cannot blame Aaron Rodgers for not making it to the Super Bowl, for not making it to the Super Bowl in playoffs as much as Brady has and how much success Brady's had. Brady has had all this support behind him, where Rodgers has had mediocre defenses for the longest time. So you cannot compare that. That's just insane. Um, 
And when Brady had people like Edelman and Gronkowski in 2014, Jordy Nelson tore his ACL that same year and missed all of the 2015 season. And Rodgers still nearly brought them to the NFC Championship game. Keep in mind, he was playing with third stringers because a lot of his team was injured. He was playing with third stringers like um, Jeff Janis, Trevor Davis, and Jared Aberderis. None of you guys know who they are because you're not Green Bay fans, obviously. But he was playing those with those third stringers, and he still made it to the NFC, or almost made it to the NFC Championship game. That's impressive, you know? Um, Brady has had all those people that year, and um, it's just amazing. And I don't even think Brady made it to the Super Bowl back in 2014. And Rodgers almost got to the NFC Championship without any of his starters or any of his starter wide receivers. <sighs> That's pretty impressive. And um, Brady came into the league with a great defense and great talent when Rodgers came into the league. And he had to replace the almighty Brett Favre and didn't have any talent around him. Not much talent. Um, you know, Donald Driver and Greg Jennings, you know, they're aging. They were getting older. So he didn't have much talent around him. And he still made it to the Super Bowl with some of those guys and Jordy Nelson. So that's also pretty impressive. And Rodgers in his rookie season had over 4,000 passing yards and 28 touchdowns. Which is, you know, a lot better than some of the rookies that I've seen. And Rodgers has had six seasons with a 65 or better percentage of his passes, you know, completed. Uh, he's had six of them and Brady's only had five. You know, Rodgers throws long bombs. He throws, you know, everywhere. And he throws long bombs in small windows. Examples, you know, his Hail Marys. Those are, you know, with like five ticks on the clock left, you know. And most of Brady's passes are short and over the middle. Rodgers, like I said, throws everywhere. Brady can't really throw that far, it looks like. He just passes like over the middle and stuff like that. And um, I don't know if I said this before, but Rodgers, like I said, has had... Uh, from 2009 to 2016, 268 touchdowns to Brady's 257. And since 2009, he's had 58 intercep uh, interceptions. And Brady has had 66. And Rodgers has also had two MVPs to Brady's one. So he has more MVPs, which is also supporting why he's better. Brady was uh, surrounded by so much success. Success. When Rodgers had to earn his success. You know, like I said, the mediocre defense. He carried them through. Brady didn't have to carry his team through. He's had good teams, you know, all these years. And Rodgers had to carry his defense, you know, for so long. For putting up so many points over the years. So, um, yeah, that's that, guys. I, I had four pages right here. That's why I kept looking down. If you still don't believe me on how Aaron Rodgers, you know, is better than Tom Brady. I don't know what to say to you. I just proved to you. Aaron Rodgers is 10 times better than Tom Brady. I don't think I mentioned, or I might have, but, you know, like I said, Aaron Rodgers made it to the Super Bowl and he's made it to several NFC Championship games, but he lost them due to his defenses. So, um, like I said, if you guys still don't understand how Rodgers is better than Brady, then I don't know what to say to you. Like I said, I proved to you guys right here on how he's better, but, you know, don't believe me. Um, but, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And um, I'm going to be here with Raw Reactions tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, all that stuff. And I'm sure I'm going to be getting a lot of hate for this video. Oh, wow. I just wanted to voice my opinion and tell you guys the truth. All right. It's been Josh L2000. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Phase up. Later. Hey, guys. I didn't mention this in the video. But if you do want to check out where I got all this information, it's going to be in the description. Um, after I upload a video, I'm going to have to edit it. And then I'll put all the links in the description if you still don't believe me. I'm telling you all the stuff I said was true. I will leave everything in the description. So please go check that out if you don't believe me in the